Let's begin with the question why learn distributed system design or what exactly is distributed system design. So YouTube statistics say that every month there are 1.57 billion active users. So these are the users who are using YouTube every month. 5 billion videos are watched per day. 1 billion hours of video watch per day. So out of 5 billion videos that we are watching per day, there are 1 billion hours of video content that is streaming online. And there are 400 hours of videos that are uploaded every minute. So this is the scale at which YouTube operates as of today. Many features that YouTube provides are mainly for users. As a user we go, we can search for a video, we can watch a video, we can share, we can like, we can comment, we can register, login, subscribe, follow. These are the features, some of the features that typically a user use. Second is authors who create the content on YouTube. They can upload the video, they can see the reports and stats. They can moderate the comments, create playlists, monetize, annotate. There are many more features for authors. And apart from these two category of users, there are many more category of users. So these many users are surrounding the YouTube. And YouTube provides feature for all of them. Now have you ever wondered what does it take to build a system like this which can operate at this scale and which can have use cases for all types of user roles that we have just talked about. So when we have to think of designing such a system, we have to think of hardware requirements, then we have to design the service. So these are the questions that need to be answered. Then database selection is another thing. Then scalability requirements, how do we address to serve this large scale of audience or this large use cases. So if you have never wondered so far, then it's better to wonder now because if you are applying as a senior software developer plus to any company, then distributed design questions are some things that are expected to be asked in the interview. And reason they are asked is because these companies expect us to come be part of the teams which manage and develop these distributed systems. So this is something that sets the base of why distributed system design questions are asked in the interviews. If we quickly take a look at the job description, they tell it all. So this is a job description of Amazon taken from the Amazon website and if we see it is for senior software engineer and it says at least three years of experience in job offered or related occupation must involve designing and developing large-scale distributed software applications. Languages and all doesn't matter, but object-oriented concepts and distributed system design is a must skill for any senior software engineer. Same way, we have one more job uh, description from Microsoft, which is again for senior software engineers. So it says experience in developing distributed and large-scale dis infrastructure components. So these are the kind of job descriptions which are telling us how important the knowledge of distributed system design is. So most of the times we find it hard to get our hands dirty with such an experience. So this is where we fit in and we provide this training and this is a hands-on training. So it's not only about learning the concepts, it's also about applying the concepts, building something small enough so that we can validate our understanding. So this is something that we have designed as a 32 hours course which runs for four weeks. Saturday, Sunday, we run four four hour sessions. So classes are done in Gachibuli, Hyderabad for Hyderabad based candidates but people who are outstation not in Hyderabad they can join the same same class uh, live streaming online. The mode is these are instructor led classes so these are the interactive sessions where you can be part of a discussion you can quickly ask your questions get them clarified and topics that we cover so this is a step by step architecture or you can say outline of the course that we have designed. So we start with the concepts, then we go with high level system design. So we just uh, focus on the architecture of it. Then we go to the low, low level design, which involves the class diagram, REST API design and all. Then we go to multi-threading and distributed system design. And finally, we conclude with the microservice architecture. So by the end of this course, you would have worked on each piece of a bigger system design. So that is what the intent is. And all this is also complemented with assignments as well as case studies that we discuss of real distributed systems. So trainers are from big companies and there's a lot of contribution that has gone into designing this course and the case studies for it from people who have worked earlier at Microsoft, Google, Amazon, DShow, and they have uh, very much insight into designing, deploying, and maintaining such large scale systems. So if you are interested, feel free to drop us an email 
at this email id being zero in at gmail.com or drop a whatsapp message to this number thank you so much we hope you will be joining this journey along with us to be comfortable with system design